So here's we have a new product, a display port to DVI 1x2 splitter. The part number is R06-CVT-102D-P. So as you can see here, unit, we have a display port input leading to two DVI outputs. Now this unit has a micro USB port and this is power which is required. You can get your power from a number of ways you can plug it from the you can get that from a USB port on your computer, like like so over here, or you have like a own USB little output area, charging area like you use. So in my case I'm gonna be using one of these charging areas or output areas. So first things first, connect the monitors. Now notice on the label there's a DVI output one and output two. Now, output 1 has EDID's path through, output 2 does not. So in my video, I'm going to be using two monitors, a Samsung monitor and an Asus, Asus monitor. So I'm going to plug into the Samsung first, to output 1, and there's a special reason why I do that. And output 2, I'm plugging into the Asus. And with, that, with these two plugged in, I then plug the power in. And when I plug the power in, the orange LED will climb up, meaning ready to be used, or the power is being sent in and ready to be used. Then put straight then actually just plug it into the unit, into the computer. The computer I'm using is going to be like a newer computer with a newer video card that has a display port. So here you immediately can see video comes up. Now, if I show you my information, you see my display says Sync Master. Basically that means just the EDID is really red of the, the Samsung monitor. Now, the reason I'm going, I'm going to just show you something real quick. Now, if I unplug the output one, I only keep output two, the EDID will change to a default setting that's built in already. And you'll see right now when I unplug, unplug it. I unplug the output one, so it only sees output two right now. And you'll notice on the LEDs, only output two is lit, because it's, there's only a monitor plugged into there, output one's on off. However, you look over here, display, it shows a default EDID that's built into the unit. So if output 1 is not connected to any monitor, it'll send a default EDID. Now, if I plug, unplug this output 2, plug this into output 1, When they come back, you notice it changed again. The EID changed back to what now this EID has changed to PA246, which is the model of this monitor. So, to get EID pass through, it only have to use output one and do the two foot monitor you want to use. Um, this unit supports up to 1080p, so we will recommend only using 1080p, 1920 by 1080p monitors. And that's it for this unit. So, Again, let me plug into both monitors again to show you. So this is a pure splitter. As you can see, it's a clone mode. With my resolution at 1080p. And let me bring up a color bracket so you can see the chart.